Hey guys! Hi! Welcome to the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. <laughs> um, today's episode is our fall collection. So happy fall, y'all. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I was. I had to say it. Um, so full disclosure, today in Northern California, it is a balmy 88 degrees. Yeah. It's real toasty here in our office, but if we have the fans on, no matter what we do, you guys can hear the fan noises, so we're going to just be a little toasty. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Um, we also want to apologize in advance. We changed the location in my room. I'm sure right now this is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. um, I live on a route out to some farms, and right now they are harvesting rice and walnuts, so throughout the show, there's going to be truck noises, unfortunately. I can try to edit it out as best as I can, but it it's part of fall, we all. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so excited that you're here with us today. You guys absolutely blew our minds, mm -hmm. blown away. We were absolutely overwhelmed by the response of our video for you guys. And within the first 72 hours, we already had a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much, everyone. Like, I can't I can't believe that that many people want to hear what we I have know. to say. That's really nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate it. So in our episode today, we thought we would talk a little bit about uh, our fall collection of patterns and introduce you to a new one. We would talk a little bit about some knitting mm -hmm. and some sewing and just talk a little bit about fall with you guys. Um, we also did a question and answer this morning on Instagram and we got a couple really great questions. So at the end of the episode, we will answer those. So to get started, Ashley, what are you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing this shawl that I made last winter. I think it was a mystery knit along. Um, and it's called the Slip Knit Love Shawl. And it's mosaic uh, knitting. And I used a yarn from actually a neighbor of mine. Um, her yarn company is called Bay Street Yarns. And Annie is really sweet and does beautiful yarns. And then I also used another one from her friend, um, Brittany, at Machete Shop. And my last color in this is a Miss Babs um, colorway and yeah I haven't haven't had to use it recently but <laughs> I can't wait to use it this fall and it was so much fun to make I really enjoyed it it is a beautiful shawl and I really love this like gingerbready color with the mint color yeah it's fun and we do we've done that with uh, patterns <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite color combos yeah it is beautiful I really love it a lot and then um, what's this dress you're wearing Oh, I forgot I'm wearing something I made for a dress, too. <laughs> it's another hinterland dress. It was actually my very first one, and it's just a, a chambray uh, dress, and I had uh, little pockets, although you won't be able to see them, but I can take pictures of them, um, of little bird fabric on the inside. But It actually, the, the pocket matches your shawl. Oh, yeah. It totally does. It does. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> that worked out well. Um, in other knitting news, I received the most amazing, like, care package from my friend Emily. And, guys, she freaking blew me away. She lives in North Carolina, and she sent me, like, rice from North Carolina. She sewed me a whole bunch of things, and then she knit me something. Are they are beautiful. Look at these mitts you got. Actually, I'll put one on so you can see it. So pretty. Dying. Mm -hmm. Like, totally. Like, she absolutely nailed it. And so, yeah, they're just, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, it was such an incredible present to get. And now I'm feeling like, oh, God, I got to make her something really good in exchange. Oh, and she gave me, like, a bunch of, like, enamel pins and mayonnaise. <laughs> Southern oh. mayonnaise. Oh. Yeah, because I do love mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. You don't. Ooh, a very small amount. Yeah, I love mayonnaise. Um... It's my favorite condiment for sure. <laughs> like French fries in the main. Yeah. Do you like Miracle Whip? No. Okay. I don't. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. That's actually kind of gross. And one of my favorite things actually is my friend Sue here in town. You know Sue? Mm -hmm. She has probably 
30 or 40 chickens. She has a ton of chickens. I will make uh, mayonnaise from her eggs, nice. and I feel good about that because it's also delicious. But, um, yeah, I am team mayonnaise. My mom really likes mayonnaise, so I think that that's... What it, started it was It was inherited. Yes. <laughs> um, so these, because I know you guys are going to want to know the details, so you can make these. This is a pattern called Love Autumn Mitts by Monica Anna. The yarns that she used were left over from a sweater of hers that I admired called Guthrie, which is by Caitlin Hunter. And the yarns are a House of a la Mode House DK and Harvest. And then Sweet Fiber Yarns Merino Twist DK and Spiced Pumpkin. And I was... <laughs> Yeah, I just, I absolutely love They're these. so pretty. They're so pretty. And we both really love, like, the speckly yarn. Mm -hmm. So it's so, and actually, yeah, you could borrow those. You could borrow these. <laughs> Out of my dead hands. Uh -huh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will always share with you. You're a good share. I am. I am a good share. And then today I am wearing a hoodie that I made because I really love you guys. It's not at all hot in here. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, and this is a German sewing pattern called Big Jesse. And it is called Big Jesse because I am in the plus size version of it. I have a lot of thoughts about that. I'll spare you them. I don't think it's very nice um, that that's how it is, how it comes out, but whatever. Um, and this is a German sewing pattern that you print at home on, um, I think it ends up being legal size paper. Don't quote me on that. I know that I had to buy a special size paper and reformat my printer to put it in. Um, but it is it is super, super popular. Um, it's very easy to sew from a German pattern. They have a website called makerist.de and they have uh, sewing patterns, knitting patterns, and then like Cricut or Silhouette cut files. Hmm. And they're, they're really easy to use. You just have to remember that most German sewing patterns, you have to add the seam allowance to. Um, they're known for having very close fitting silhouettes with a color blocking aesthetic like built into them. <laughs> so I really like this one a lot. Um, this is fab the neutral is a jersey from Raspberry Creek. Uh, is that right? Raspberry Creek? Maybe? I think I'll drop a link to that. I'm sorry that I didn't write that down. Um, and then these two, these are organic cotton jerseys from a website called Jumping June Textiles that I absolutely love. Um, you have to really join her Facebook group because she offers pre-orders on fabric and it's more cost effective to buy the pre-orders rather than buying retail yeah. through her website. And the retail tends to sell out really quick. But I did a lot of um, different, like this is like a double cowl. So and you can cool. see, I'll try to lift you can see like literally like you I mean hide in there. I could hide it here mm -hmm. like it is so cozy and um it has functional drawstrings I did too after I saw uh something on Pinterest that was similar and then I put like a little patch here and at the hip there's also a little patch this stuff is called um snap pap and you can get it on Amazon I'll drop a link and what it is is it's sewable paper that you can wash it's That's cool. It's really cool. Um, and I reinforce my buttonholes with it. Oh, I'm sorry, not buttonholes, the grommet holes. It's, there's a lot going on on this sweater. Full disclosure, I have made this pattern three times. So oh, I don't remember the third one. Cats in space. That's right. Yes, cats in space. So um, there is a whole rabbit hole on the internet um, on Facebook of custom fabric groups. And they have these like rounds of fabric and you go and you place your order and it's this whole thing. And I got this like cat in f space. I'm, I will wear it this winter um, in our next episode, which is going to be our Halloween party. Mm -hmm. I have a Halloween one of these that I'll wear. And it's also in a custom fabric that I found on Facebook. Um, that's pretty much it about this sweater. I love it. Um, it's almost like a it's almost like a princess seam. I'll drop a selfie if you guys want to see what it looks like. It's almost like a princess seam. And then it has this cute... Uh, like a, like a piping detail. It's, I mean, it's got a lot and pockets. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, so cute. it's a I lot in that. one shirt. The only regret that I have is that when I cleaned my office, um, out this summer, I had found the pattern pieces and I thought like it was a different pattern oh. and I recycled them. Oh, no. And I know that I did like a couple small adjustments and they're gone. They're gone. And also it's a bear to tape and I just 
Because it doesn't have that big plotter file. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if there will be another big Jesse in my future. Realistically, do I need even three? But the cats in space. <laughs> cats in space I is mean, cute. And the cats in space has velvet. Oh. It's that one. It's nice. it's just, it's over the top. But it's really fun. Um, and you guys asked that we talk a little bit more about our sewing. So there's my sewing and knitting spiel. All in one. All in one. <laughs> Okay, so today let's talk about some new patterns. We have a new one that Ashley designed. Love this little guy. What's he called? I think he's just Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We needed to come up with a name for him though. Or no, you were calling him Tom. I call him Tom. <laughs> Super clever. <laughs> Tom T. Featherbottom. Tom T. Featherbottom. Okay, Tom T. Featherbottom. Here he is in all of his cuteness. Absolutely love this. What color fabric was this? Do you know off the top of your head? Hmm. I think Oaken. Oaken. I might be wrong. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's Oaken. We got a bunch of really nice comments on this. Um, the only thing was is I didn't even... Uh, this totally... I'm so mad at myself. We released it, like, literally, like, a couple days after Canadian Thanksgiving! I know. I didn't think about it until someone brought it up. Yeah. So I'm really sorry, guys. Like, we blew it, but I know a bunch of our Canadian peeps have still purchased it anyway. Thank you! Thank you. And you can have it for next year. Yeah, we're yeah. really ahead of, ahead of schedule for ahead next schedule. year. Um, and one person on Facebook said that they really love the pie border, and I was like, that's good, because so do I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely love this. Do you want to talk a little bit about your inspiration for it? I, I love the turkey from Give Thanks, and I mean, he was pretty chunky, but I wanted to go a little bit chunkier, <laughs> so... That's how Tom T. Featherbottom was born. <laughs> I'm so glad that Tom T. Featherbottom <laughs> is with us today. Mm -hmm. um, you finished this, and this came out so cute. Thanks. Yeah, so if you want to see the back, it has a um, like maple leaf fabric that she picked, this cute ribbon. I love this trim. I was, not expe I was expecting to just do it with a regular pom-pom trim, but I saw that I love the color, mm -hmm. and it's flatter, so they really yeah. stand out. But yeah, that was a an unexpected little gem I found. It was such a gem. It, I mean, it matches perfectly. It looks like it was literally made for this project. Yeah. Uh, Christy, um, Stitchy Stitcherson, she stitched this for us. Um, she has been so busy. She sure has. <laughs> she has been so busy. And in fact, um, we did have a question today on Instagram. Uh, someone wanted to know how do I become a sample stitcher and will you hire me, basically, and we get a lot of requests for people that want to test stitch or sample stitch for us. And as we mentioned in our previous video, Christy has been with us. I keep blanking out on the amount of years, but I literally think it's been eight years. Probably. We'll have to look up for the exact right. start date. But Christy is very meticulous. So I'm sure if I were to check search, she would be like, I started on know. X date <laughs> at X know. time. She's really, she's very detail oriented. So at this time, we are not looking for any sample stitchers or testers, but we really appreciate how excited you guys are and how bad you guys want to stitch for us. I will say that we are maybe a little bit difficult to work for because sometimes <laughs> we will send her things with just very very tight deadlines yeah. and it's it has to be stressful for her but she just takes it like a champ yeah I mean she's she's so good she's so good to us so if you are interested in being a sample stitcher we really appreciate all your enthusiasm but right now we have Christy and we love her um in the event that Christy like can't meet a deadline or something Ashley stitches Ashley does mm -hmm. our um, magazine projects and projects for t deadlines that would be too close for Christy or something that she's already working on a big project yeah yeah and i feel bad if i gave her some more stuff right to work on. <laughs> yeah because we want to keep her happy because mm -hmm. we love her mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so that's really important um so this is our brand new happy thanksgiving pattern and i forgot to mention he is on sale on sale now so he's on sale for a dollar off if you visit our website and just type in happy thanksgiving the link will pop up you'll see him and then there's also in um bold it says the promo code which i believe is turkey for a dollar off of him and that sale goes until october 31st at 11 59 p.m pacific time yep Whew. good you job got it. i did it. i got it <laughs> <laughs> so i hope that you guys check him out he's so much fun this is um classic color works yes yes mm -hmm. 
Do you I'm know the name? I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep putting you on the spot. I should have written it down. Oh, gosh. It doesn't matter. It's a beautiful color. Bing Cherry. Bing Cherry. Yep. Nice. And then there's also, I believe, uh, he is maybe Cayenne. I okay. That He's a hand-dyed one. Um, Tom T. Feather bottom. <laughs> he is also a hand dyed thread. So definitely come by, check out our website, and yeah, pick him up. So in other news that I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about, but we've had a ton of new people to the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And right now, all of our patterns are available in PDF format. However, we have been in the works this entire summer researching, going with different companies, and we are in the process of buying a giant professional printer. So thanks to all of your support during Ashley's birthday sale, we are investing in this beautiful printer and I am so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. So what this means is if you want to buy a pattern, but maybe you don't like stitching from a tablet or maybe you don't have a printer at home or your internet is terrible, whatever, we will now be able to print on demand and mail it to you. I'm not sure the time frame. We are still looking over. We're torn between two models, and the lady that we're working with is amazing. Ironically, she cross stitches and embroiders. Mm -hmm. So that is fantastic. So we're just trying to finish up the last minute details. Once it arrives, I will then be working behind the scenes to update our website so you will now have the option. And they're gonna be printed on this absolutely gorgeous paper that we found. It's nice and thick and bright, and it's I'm really, really happy. And now shop owners, if they want to purchase patterns from us, they will be able to buy every single pattern that we have on our website. And we now have over, over a hundred, maybe even over 120. Yeah. We have a lot of patterns guys, a ton. So we're still working out the details behind the scenes, but it's something that is up and coming. I'm hoping to have it done before Christmas. Like that would be my be nice, but We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. For sure. We'll see. It's going to be a huge undertaking, but I'm really, really excited. And I want to thank everybody for all your support and all of your encouragement. And we've mentioned it in passing a little bit here and there mm -hmm. that we're doing this. And we had so many comments from people who were like, yes, I really like paper. So we're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do the paper. We're going to do the paper. Um, and then let's see, what else should I talk about? That was a lot. Whew. Okay. Oh, actually, I have a question for you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is an easy one. Um, out of every pattern in our fall collection, which is your favorite and why? Oh, gosh. Um, probably Autumn Harvest. I like the size of it, and I love the text. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, Let's... Autumn Harvest Festival. I love the text. I love the little people apple picking. I've never done it myself in the fall, but it looks like it would be a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. When I was little, um, my grandparents, so I grew up in Massachusetts and I moved to California, um, as a kid, well, as a teenager. And when I was little, my grandparents would take me apple picking and in New England, it is what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so cute. And when she started working on this design, I'm like, yes, this is exactly the vibe, everything. And yeah, it is, that is a really sweet pattern. I like that one. That's How about a you? Good goal. Which one do you like? <sighs> this is hard. I know. This is so hard. So I have two. Can I pick two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Mm -hmm. Which one is that one? Judging by the fabric on the back of the cubes. Gourd. This is gourd. That's my second one. Really? Yeah. Go okay. All right. I'll pick because I know this one. This is, um, oh my gourd. And I love this one. He's kind of like a sleeper hit. Some the people who get him, like they they really get mm -hmm. him. Um, but I love the stack of gourds. <laughs> I love the little like X's and O's. I love the colors that Ash picked. Yeah, this is so cute. Um, this one was also stitched by Christy. Um, and the oh my gourd font at the bottom it reminds me of Indian corn mm -hmm. or like an heirloom corn, and it's so cute. So I love him a lot. And then pumpkin spice and everything nice. Oh, I think it's got to be. <laughs> maybe? The, this one maybe? I don't Let's see. Know. <laughs> you <Yes>. win! <laughs> you win! Okay, pumpkin spice and everything nice. So this was actually our very. Was that? The first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you guys want to know, like, kind of a secret? So on Facebook, someone was a little bit. Uh, Amanda, she mentioned, like, hey, why aren't you guys in this upcoming issue of Just Cross Stitch? Like, I really look forward to your designs in it. 
and we had to tell her like we aren't always able to do magazines because of deadlines or whatever yeah. and actually this which is one of our top selling patterns we had designed it for just cross stitch and they said no <laughs> so they didn't like it or they just ran out of space and that could be, be it too yeah. and they have so many talented designers like our feelings weren't hurt no it was totally fine but you guys really like it and we do too <laughs> it's so cute and it says pumpkin spice and everything nice and then it turned into that was the start of all the seasonal sayings <laughs> all the seasonal yeah. sayings it had to happen after that one and it they're really fun to do um you guys really like stitching them and displaying them we make all of ours into cubes with the exception of world's best teacher which you framed. Framed, yep, and added uh, colored pencils yeah, to it. Yeah, that's cute. That yeah. one is so cute. So those would be my two favorites, I think. It might change. Yeah, <laughs> it, it might change. But Oh My Gourd for sure, just because it's so quirky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. I think it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Witch Better. Yes. Where it's a little bit yes. sassy, kind of sassy. Mm -hmm. And I like that. So uh, this week on Friday... Are you excited? We're excited because we are releasing the very first clue in the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nutcracker Parade is coming out on Friday to your email at 1, I believe, 9 a.m. No, oh, just kidding! <laughs> 9 a.m. Pacific time. 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm fired. At least I hope that's, I'll double check. <laughs> So that is coming out. I cannot wait for you guys to see the first float in the parade. I think this is my favorite float. I think we're going to start oh. with my favorite, but then yours, I think, is the last clue or the last float. Yes, mine is the last. Yes, yes. Um, I will not be sharing any spoilers because I'm not quite sure what time the video is going to go up. Yeah, just in So case. if you want to see where we're at on the Nutcracker Parade, you can visit our website, type in Nutcracker Parade, or I'll drop a link below, and you can see where we're at, because we will update the listing with the mm -hmm. current clue. And if you haven't joined yet, I know a lot of people are like, I want a kit, I want a kit. We have so many more supplies coming. They sold out so fast. Thank you all. Yes, thank you. So much for your support. Like, it totally blew us away. Apparently, you guys like the Nutcracker just as much as mm -hmm. we do. <laughs> and I'm so excited about that. Um, so we do have more supplies on the way. But remember, I know a lot of you guys, you guys have stash. Like we, I had this really great conversation um, on Instagram with, I think, Melissa. Mm -hmm. And she sent me all those pictures oh, of yeah, her yeah, floss. Yeah. She did like a floss toss on all these fabrics and direct messaged us and was like, help me pick. And I'm like, oh girl, this is hard. <laughs> she had a beautiful fabric collection. Yeah, she, did. she had like five or six fabrics to pick from like it was fantastic and so we went through and I picked two that I liked and I texted you and was like which ones do you like and we picked and then we helped her and I think we picked the same two yeah so that helped. we would yeah, yeah we totally sense. would <laughs> so I'm really I'm super excited for this and I'm really thankful for all your enthusiasm because this club is going to be amazing mm -hmm. it's going to be so good um we had another question, and this one came from Jen, Gnome Cat, and she wanted to know... Oh, can I see your phone? Do you have it's it? down there. Oh, okay, never mind. I think that Jen asked... Jen, I'm so sorry if I completely have brutally, horribly changed your question around. But she wanted to know which one of our year-long samplers was your favorite. Oh, man. No, wait, I lied. I lied. Jen, <laughs> sorry, Jen. She wanted to know, um, how do we come up with the inspiration for them? So a year long club, if you're not familiar real quick, I'll go through this. We make a big, big chart. Christy stitches it. We break it up into monthly installments. Every year has a theme. Dessert of the month, fruit of the month, woodland sampler. Um, into the jungle. Into the jungle. Once upon a time. Story time. Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After. Pumpkinville. Pumpkinville. Holy cow, is that all of them? <laughs> I feel like we're missing something. We can call Sweetest Pie one. He yeah. ran for a year. Um, yeah, he was 12. He was 12. 12 pies. So how we come up with the inspiration is we have like an ongoing list. So inspiration strikes at any moment. Mm -hmm. So we have an ongoing list and we just add to it throughout the year. And as we get ideas we just kind of whittle it down, like decide what sounds really good. We do look at a lot of like trends, like what is what is popular right now. 
And then we also want to make sure that no other designers have come up with a like long-term pattern like that. Yeah. Yeah. We could tell you um, one year we designed an entire chart from start to finish. And unfortunately, another designer came out with the same theme. So that chart lives on Ashley's computer. <laughs> it does. <laughs> And that happens and we just we don't want to compete with anybody else and and also it would be hard to make you guys choose between two designers like and it worked out because we ended up doing Into the Jungle that year. Yep. And I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, that was one that we had planned on making into just like a standalone like pattern and just mm -hmm. selling it just like as like a one shot. And then we were like, "Wait, we could break this up." And that ended up being really good because the animals each month everybody was really excited to guess which animal it was going to be and one of my favorite animals some people said they were creepy and i was like they're not <laughs> creepy um was the little taper that little taper that baby. baby oh my gosh there's a zoo in washington state that has a taper baby and it is he's so cute what's his name he has a really cute name. kuzu so, something very sweet don't quote me on that um <laughs> gosh but he is a he is darling. And they call him a watermelon with legs. <laughs> I mean, it is. he's got this little snout. Yeah, I mean, he is adorable. So sometimes we will take something that we already want to release and then just break it up and release it throughout the year. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of ideas. And the next one, so people also came into the questions and they said, please, I want to know something about 2020. And I will tell you that we will not share a lot about 2020 with you because what we do is anybody who signs up for Pumpkinville, they get to know everything first and foremost. It's our way of rewarding people for trusting in us, trusting our designs, and mm -hmm. stitching with us for an entire year because the stitch alongs, they're a really big commitment. Mm -hmm. They are a big commitment. And so I will say the same thing that we said in our previous video, that it's a completely different size we've never done before. Yep. On a completely different size fabric we've never used before. Mm-hmm. It features no people. Nope. I can say that, yeah? Yeah, Okay. that's true. It features <laughs> no people. It is very different than anything we've done before. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. It could be considered a mashup of a couple other it patterns. Is. I was thinking about that the other day. Mm -hmm. Which patterns would you say it's a mashup of? And it's okay to say them. Because I think we're thinking of the same thing. I'd say Pumpkinville. Okay, Pumpkinville. There's one I don't know if I should say, though, because it might give too much away. Whisper in my ear. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, into the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? The shape kind of reminds me of story time. I can see that, yeah. A tiny bit. Mm -hmm. A tiny bit. Mm -hmm. And so that is your 2020 information, <laughs> and that, I'm done. Um... <laughs> The fabric is on order. The supplies are on order. I don't have a release date. I don't have anything for you because we're just not there yet. Yeah. Um, Jessica wanted to know, like, how long does it take from start to finish to create one of these? And it is a massive undertaking of time. Um, as we mentioned in our previous video, we design the entire chart first. The entire chart then goes to Christy. She suggests any edits. Mm -hmm everything from there then because we order a massive quantity of fabric and supplies we have to give the dot the fabric dyer dmc everybody a long lead time very very long lead time so that way we have enough kits because the kits for that typically sell out pretty quick yeah. with pumpkinville we have been restocking and just constantly staying on top of it so if you want to join pumpkinville today the supplies are in stock in past years We've never been able no. to keep up with it. But now we are just, we're getting more into the flow of ordering and it's just, it's going much smoother. Yeah. So if you want to join Pumpkinville and be the first to know, plus Pumpkinville subscribers get a promo code on the year long club for 2020. We always do that. Like just our Pumpkinville peeps or any of our year long stitchers, we give them like a little incentive just to say thank you and yeah. Yeah. And we appreciate you stitching with us and yeah. like a whole 12 months. That's. It's a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. So that's where I'm at with that. And it does, it takes a long time. We typically start in the summer because summer times are a little bit slower for us work-wise. So usually around June, we start batting ideas back and forth and then it becomes a reality. And a lot of it is really fun. Like we create a private board, just the two of us on Pinterest. Um, this one is called 2020 Sampler. <laughs> and we will pin uh, color palettes that we like. That part's really fun. That mm -hmm. is my favorite part. And in fact, we were just joking that we each grabbed thread for what we thought would be the 2020 palette. And we were like, how many of these are going to be the same? 
I'm sure there's going to be quite a few. Yeah. So the spoiler alert is there were quite a few. <laughs> and it's really fun. One of the things that people really loved about Pumpkinville was how bright the colors are. And with the fabric choice that we picked, we're also doing a really bright palette this mm -hmm. year, too. So I think that's all I can say about 2020. I can't give away any more because literally I could sit here and talk your ear off because I'm super excited about it. Me too. I love this one. I do too. This one has, if you like the tiny details of Pumpkinville, you're going to love the tiny details of this one. And if you like... <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you like the changing of the seasons in Pumpkinville, you're really going to like this one. Okay. Done. <laughs> done. Zip my lips. I'm done. Cut me off. So I think that's it for today. Oh, and sorry, I lied. Somebody wanted to see pictures of your Hobonichi. I will bring it next time. Yes. Yeah. So we could do a whole Hobonichi, maybe like a, a segment of our video, mm -hmm. because it's that time of year. The planner and journaling community are a buzz because what are you going to use in 2020? It's a big decision. I have a new um, planner today coming from Amazon Japan. Oh, cool. I hope you're here because I got you that. Um, <gasps> the bag? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's a, um, a stationery company called Delphonics. They just released three brand new colors of their inner bag. Um, a pink, a dark green, and like a really pretty gray. We all got... You pink. did pink too, right? I did pink. I did pink too. For some reason, um, green wasn't shipping to the U.S. Oh. The green was my favorite color too, but it wasn't shipping to the U.S. But that's fine because once it makes its way to the U.S., I'll get it in green. Because it's really cute. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, pr very pretty. It is super pretty. So um, I will also be talking about, I guess, my planner choice for 2020. I want to know your planner choice for 2020. Yeah. Yeah, because they have a new style book too. They do. They do. Hobonichi has a brand new style book where it's undated. I think I'm going to do that one. I think I'm probably going to do that one too because it would give more flexibility for journaling. Mm -hmm. For my, I actually can show you my current planner. Isn't this so cute? So this is Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I did the boar print because I love boars. This was for Year of the Boar. This has been my year. It's just adorable. It's so cute. I love this one. I was torn between getting this for next year. Oh, But yeah. I didn't. <gasps> Why not? I got a new style. I will reveal my new style when my box from Amazon Japan comes in our next video. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're probably going to deliver it today, so you're going to see it either way. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. I have no idea. Yeah. It was it was a last minute decision, and um, I hope I don't regret it, because there was a, a Hobonichi cover with the Tokyo Tower. Yeah. Yeah. I and I liked that one a lot. I mean, I know there are some people who will buy like five or six planners. I can't do that. I need to just have everything all in one place. Yeah. So I do keep, I should actually back up a little bit. I keep a, a work planner and then I keep a Hobonichi as a daily journal. So those mm -hmm. are two different things. One is for planning, one is for journaling. And you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. have, a, you have a, a Sanrio. I do. A little <laughs> planner that I love. That should surprise no one. Mm -hmm. And you got that one from Japan. Yes, I yes. did. I yeah. have to find next year's now. I know. And I was really bummed out because after I submitted my Amazon Japan order, she was like, oh, I think I might get a Sanrio one. And I saw so many Sanrio ones. Did you? But I mean, we can always place another okay. order. Yeah. And if you've never placed an order um, on Amazon Japan, it's actually a very easy and wonderful experience. You just want to use a browser that translates. So I use Chrome and yeah, it just translates and easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, I ordered everything Last week, it takes about two days, two to three days to arrive here in California. Fast. That is way faster than I it's was insane. expecting. It's insane. And what it does is it, it goes from Japan to Cincinnati. Oh. Right? Weird. So I thought it would come through one of like LA or, yeah, San, or San Francisco. Francisco. Nope. And then from Cincinnati, it has gone to, I want to say LA. Then it was in Sacramento. And hmm. then I think it'll be here. Interesting. Soon. It, Again, I have this obsession with mail and shipping. It's mind-blowing to me. Like, I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited to get it. And I'll show you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We have enjoyed hanging out with you and chatting about all things fall and knitting related. Thank you for showing <laughs> that. That's beautiful. Can I actually, can I hold it up? Yeah, it's probably a little I was going to say you're probably toasty. Warm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we both are warm. Here. Woohoo! 
Isn't that a beauty? I love this one. Yes, it's so pretty. Okay, and on that note, we're going to be back with a Halloween party! <laughs> <laughs> so if there's a time of year that we love just as much as we love fall, it's Halloween. Yep. Our next episode is going to be a Halloween party in which we will be talking about all things Halloween. What inspires us, our favorite Halloween patterns. It's going to be a Halloween episode, and I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for subscribing, and if you like our video, we appreciate it. And if you want to send your video to a friend and have them subscribe, that's awesome too. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you.